Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and today I'm going to tell you about the books I'd like to read before the end of the year. So at the beginning of the year, like one of my first couple of videos, I'm pretty sure, um, I mean, you can quote me if I'm wrong around here, but one of the first videos I did at the start of 2022 was a 22 of 2022, like a mood readers version, because I put up 51 books that I would like to read <laughs> during this year. Uh, now my goal for it was to have, well not to have, but my goal for it was to read 22 out of these 51 books and then I would be golden. However, we are nearing the end of the year now, and I'm pretty sure I've read eight. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have my little, um, uh, like, journal, reading journal. It's also a list of movies I want to read. Read? I don't want to read movies. I want to watch the movies. Um, so it's, um, it's a bunch of lists, basically. Um, so, I have read, out of the 51 books I've read, uh, The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni, I've read Heartless by Marissa Meyer, I've also read uh, The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, I have read The Invisible Life of Adela LaRue by V.E. Schwab, In Case You Missed It by Glinty Kelk, 500 Miles From You by Jenny Colgan, Good Girl, Bad Blood by Holly Jackson, The Switch by Beth O'Leary, and Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen M. McManus. So, yeah, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books. I was wrong. Nine books out of 22 books. Yeah, it's that. I'm missing like 13 books. And uh, to reach those 22 books, yeah, I'm gonna have to read 13 books by the end of the year. Now, this is doable. However, I don't actually own all the books that are on this list. And uh, yeah, uh, I, I can't be buying all the books because I've already bought quite a lot of books and uh, yeah, Christmas coming up and people are getting presents and you know how it is. So, I don't think I'll read the 22 books, that was my goal, but I uh, want to try. I want to at least try to read as many of the books on this list as I can. So, I've made a few, like, let's say, adjustments, and I made a little list. So, some of the books I'd really, really like to get to before the end of the year is... Where is my pile? I had a pile of books. This is why I need a table in front of me. Yeah, I'm missing my table right now. I would like to read Walking on Sunshine by Giovanna Fletcher. Um, this came out, I want to say last Christmas, and I did open it up. And I didn't get very far because I've stopped picking up different books. Uh, but Giovanna Fletcher is one of my favourite authors, so yeah. And it's also not a very chunky book, so you know, it should be doable. It just depends on my mood. Uh, another book which is coincidentally also our Chaos Court Book Club pick of the month for November, and that is City of Raz by S.H. Chakraborty. And yes, this <laughs> has been on my list. This is a book I've been very excited to read for quite some time now. So the fact that the book club, because it's a voting system for which books goes, to be the book club of the month pick. Uh, so the fact that the book club picked this book, yes, it just works perfectly. Um, but yeah, it, it it is a doozy of a book, so we shall see how that actually goes. Now, I do have some of these books, but they are currently up there, not unboxed yet. And they are A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas, uh, this Wicked Fate by Kayleen Bayron, 
Blade Breaker by Victoria Aveyard and also Wolf Song by TJ Clune. So those four books I do have, just not unboxed yet, so I have to unbox them and then read them. Uh, I was saving the unboxed books for a Christmas book haul, but that doesn't mean that I can't like unbox them and then talk about them later in the haul because I have some other books that have been read and stuff that I will be like mentioning in said haul. Like two honourable mentions as well, there are two books that I'm kind of excited to read. Like I'm excited to read all of these books, let's not lie about the whole thing but so one of the books is Ironheart by Nina Varela and I read Cryer's War last year I think, I'm pretty sure it was in November last year as well so if I could pick that up soon that would be great that would also mean I'd finish the series and we do like finishing series around here so ah yeah 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 uh the other book hasn't technically come out yet it's coming out like in these couple of days now I'm not too sure uh, but it is blood marked by Tracy Dion now this is a sequel to Legendborn which is chef's kiss I want to reread that book but I kind of just it's still kind of fresh in my mind so I'm just gonna go on to the second book and have that be done with uh, so yeah those are the eight books that I want to try to get to now that won't be 22 books in total, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I'm also very much okay with not finishing any of these books either. Well, I should really read The City of Brass since it is a book club pick, but yeah. <laughs> we never know what happens around here. It all depends on the mood because mood reader yeah so that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching and if you want to comment down below which are some of your books that you would like to read before the end of the year please do maybe i get some new fancy picks to read next year next year i'm not i i should really narrow down my tbr for this year but it is what it is so yeah, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you all next time, until then, take care, bye bye.